Brooklyn Independent Television. I started dancing in, in all of the works that I choreographed as a young dancer. And then I started to make work and step outside of the work and really just watch it. And I discovered that participating in the work was important to me. The work that I make tries to bring disparate elements together. I think that's really a major theme in the work. My mother's Israeli, my father is Scottish, and I grew up in Iran. And then we bounced around the world a lot until settling in the U.S. There's always been a need in order to survive, to integrate really different cultures, really different religions, really different foods into one meal. And so that impulse to um, look for crossroads and look for ways that two things that don't really have a lot to do with each other on the surface, what they can inspire when they're put next to each other has stayed with me. to collide a lot of theater elements and dance elements and text elements and visual elements and textural elements. I wouldn't call it minimalist. <laughs> it's basically about the human condition. I'm very interested in the conflict between the rational and the emotional sides of being a human being. And dance is a really interesting place to investigate that. Hi. In trying to make work, there's a constant struggle to figure out how to get the audience to feel what I'm feeling when I'm dancing. When you're dancing, you're using a kinetic sense, and the logic of that is different sometimes from the visual logic. I think it's tempting to, to think, oh, well, an audience is watching it visually, so then that should be the, the, the predominant sense. But I also think something gets lost in the unique quality that dance affords if the, the motor inside of it, this tactile kinetic sensory motor, isn't, isn't trusted. Sometimes I'll just go in and I'll make material and I really don't know why. But um, usually, if you're just rolling around, moving, something subconscious has already started cooking and then your job is to listen to the dance and what it's trying to tell you. And then once you have some whispers of what it's trying to tell you, you start to realize what it's about and then you can start to research it and read about those ideas and then you can start to shape it um, from the other side. Another thing that inspires me to make work is the people that I work with. What draws me is to bring really interesting, unique individuals into the space and see what makes them tick and see what about them moves in a way that, that speaks their story inside of people's shoulders. Are they up? Are they down? You know, everything about the frame is filled with a story in a way. I think it's through these exchanges that we actually find our individuality and that it's a double gesture of receiving and then discovering yourself further at the same time.
Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.